Hey guys, welcome back to Vogue Bandwagon. And if you're new, thank you for joining us. My name is Sam and Danielle is behind the scenes today. And by behind the scenes, I mean she just went upstairs. So it's just me today. I just wanted to share with you some recent purchases that I've made at the drugstore. Um, I've been to Walmart and Shoppers lately and did a little makeup shopping. It was a little naughty but there's been really good stuff coming out at the drugstore. Like they're really stepping up their game, I don't know what to tell you. So I will just get into it. Okay, so first things first, um, not makeup products, more skincare related. I picked up another pack of the Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strips from Biore. <sighs> I can't. These are so good, I use them all the time. Um, I've already been into this box actually because, you know, I just had to clean my pores. But I do this about like every week to every week and a half and you will not believe the stuff that I pull out of my pores. So these are so good like to just clean your nose. You won't believe what comes off. The next thing I got is something I've been looking for for so long. I used to see them everywhere but then I couldn't find them and now they're apparently back in stores. It's the Yes Two masks. I just found them at Shoppers, so I picked up two. I got the detoxifying charcoal paper mask, which I have used before, and it's amazing. So I'll probably do this tonight. And then I got the blemish fighting paper mask. Amazing. But it's Yes Two. Both of them are Yes Two tomatoes, and they're both for clear skin. But there's detoxifying and blemish fighting. So I love this company. So good. I still use their face wash. Oh, and I brought my receipt so I could tell you guys how much I spent. $3.99. Each of these was $3.99, which is so good. Next, at Walmart, I picked up some Kiss Lashes because Danielle did a video and she talked about them, and then I needed lashes, and I trust Danielle's opinion, obviously. So I got the Kiss Lashes and Flirty, and they're what I'm wearing now. So soft, so like, well these ones are a little dramatic, but like they feel natural and they're not heavy. I love them, they're so good. But uh, yeah, I only got the two pair because I'm gonna get lash extensions as you'll probably will already have seen on our channel. So next I got two things from Maybelline. I got the Burgundy Bar Palette and a Master Chrome Highlight. So first of all, I've been seeing this Burgundy Bar palette everywhere recently. I don't know if it just came out recently or if it's been out for a while, but God, so pretty. And I feel like these are my colors. Like burgundy is just my jam. So they are so pretty. There's 12 colors, only two mattes. So I would have liked to see more mattes, but as for pigment, oh my God, so good. Let me just swatch them. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my God. I don't know if like you can see that at all, but goddamn. That's unreal. And then from Maybelline again, I got the Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Rose Gold, which is one of their new shades. Um, I know they've had the gold one out for a long time, but I haven't used it. I think I'm a little too light for it. Like I'm a little pale for it right now, maybe in the summer I'll pick it up, but the Molten Rose Gold is beautiful. It, I love it. Honestly, I've been into this too. I didn't use the eyeshadow palette yet, but this I have used. Oh my god. Like, it's pretty powdery in the pan, but, oh my god, on your fingers, like on the skin, I don't know if you can see, but it's so beautiful. I'm also wearing it today. I'll touch that up. So lastly, the last thing I got at Walmart was a brush that I've been hearing about. Where's the package? I took it out of the package. I used it. Like, I wanted to keep it clean for you guys to show you, but I also wanted to test it. <laughs> so it came in this. It is the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. I love it. That's what it looks like. It's a little dirty. But, yeah. I don't know, it's like so dense, 
really, really beautiful. It gives like really good coverage, but so like it's just so dense and really packs into the skin. I love it. And it was, oh, I know how much this one was. Where is it? $7.99. Elf has such amazing brushes for so cheap. I can't. All right, on to shoppers. So I got the uh, new Rimmel concealer from their Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable line. They have a um, foundation like this, but I just got the concealer. And yes, I've tried this one too. It has the little poofy applicator. I've been loving this honestly like I'm not a huge fan of concealers I usually just kind of let my um, foundation do the work but this has worked so well under my eyes and on like blemishes down here it cuts the redness and it doesn't move like it sits all day it doesn't crease I don't think I'm creasing anyways I have some fine lines but it doesn't crease another thing I use it for is while I was at the drugstore I was looking for a good drugstore quality not drugstore quality, drugstore priced um, eyeshadow primer, and I couldn't find one, so I figured that if this was good enough, I'd put it on my eyelids and use it as a base, because I have slightly hooded eyelids, so everything tends to crease. Um, anyways, I tried it on my eyelids, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's a great base for eyeshadow, and nothing creases throughout the day. Like, it just... It just is there for 25 hours if I ever had my makeup on for that long but it would probably still be there next up I was so excited about this I picked up the butter highlighter in pearl I also wanted the pink one too I don't know what that one's called it's just like a light pink but they didn't have it at my shoppers so I just got pearl I haven't used this yet oh it's a twist off it says it's a cream to powder highlighter. Oh God, it's so soft. Oh my God, I can't wait to use this. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but it's so beautiful. Oh my God. This is gonna look so good on my winter skin. I can't wait to use it. So it seems like really soft. It's a Muru Muru Butter Blend. So cool. Can't wait to give that a try. It smells like like a dessert with a lot of butter. <laughs> Lastly, I picked up two of the Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula, and I got both of these colors because we're really big fans of Olivia Rink's blog, and she has featured like both of these. I think she's worn both of these in one of her blog posts or whatever, so I just remembered the names and I bought them. Huge fan. So it's so creamy and velvety. It has a little heart-shaped applicator for easy application. Um, this is all natural nude. I'm wearing that one right now. Swatch it on my hand like that. And then the second color I got I haven't worn yet. It is called Fight Free Reticles little word play haven't used this yet it looks thicker actually oh it feels thicker it's more pigmented than the nude really pretty though can't wait to give that a try these are only $8.99 yeah $8.99 and the highlighter that I was just talking about was $10.70 so that's not bad Anyways, that is all I picked up for the drugstore. I will stop rambling now. I'm sure you'll be seeing some of these products in our upcoming videos. I'm a big fan of buying drugstore products. They really, like I said, been stepping up their game lately. So I can't wait to go use these all. And if you wanna see a review on a certain product, let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you. All right, thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.